Is it possible to build a Lego collection completely for free? We all know that Lego sets go up in value over time and a lot of Lego investors and Lego collectors typically avoid opening the boxes. But what happens if you want to actually open and enjoy a Lego set? What happens if you want to build a Lego set? You want to build a big collection of Lego sets. Will the value still go up on those sets? Will you be able to sell them a year or two after retirement and get back the money that you paid for the set? or potentially even make a profit. In this video, I'm gonna answer this question. I've crunched some of the numbers on recently retired sets in used condition that are actually selling on eBay here in the US. So we're gonna jump into the numbers and I'm gonna give you all of the answers about whether or not used Lego sets can actually make you a return on investment or how you can build a Lego collection completely for free. Now, before we jump in, if you're new here, please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want more content about Lego investing. Here's what we're gonna do. In the last video that I published in this channel, we looked at 15 recently retired Lego sets. In that video, I was comparing the new price with the open box price with the used price. I'm gonna use the same 15 sets in this video. We're gonna run through that used price. And these are recent sales on eBay. So what are these sets selling for in used condition? The sets are a range of different Lego themes. So we have Speed Champions, we have Lego Star Wars, we have Ninjago, we have Minecraft, all of the different Lego themes. Not every theme is represented, but we have a good variety here. And different price points as well, $200 sets down to $30, $15, $20 sets. So we have a good variety of different types of Lego sets here. And I've pulled the actual sales numbers on eBay. Now, it is important to specify that these are sales on eBay, not just listings. So these are the prices that these sets actually actually sold in used condition on eBay. So people have built the set, they've enjoyed the set maybe for the last two years and now they're selling it on and this is the price that it actually sold for. So I'm gonna compare the price that these sets are selling for in used condition with the 20% off of the MSRP value, okay? So we're gonna take 20% off the MSRP because most of us should be able to buy Lego sets for 20% off, right? If you're a Lego fan, a Lego collector, or a Lego investor, most of the time you're paying probably 20% below MSRP if you're trying to get good deals and different things like that. So I'm gonna take the 20% off MSRP value, but at the end, I will also give you the value if you paid full MSRP for that, what would the actual return on investment be after you sold it? So with that, let's jump in here and start looking at some of these numbers. Now, the first set we're gonna talk about is the Parisian Restaurant. This is a Lego modular building, of course, a creator expert uh, set. It retail for $160. Now, if you paid 20% off, then you would've got it for $128, right, $128. Now, it is a little bit harder to get, to get modular buildings for 20% off, but it's definitely possible, especially if you get gifts with purchase. Now, in recent sales on eBay, this set in used condition was selling for around $240. So if you bought the set for 20% off retail, which is $128, you sold it for $240, uh, that would be a profit of around $76, right? So you just made a profit on a used set. You enjoyed the Parisian restaurant for the last couple of years. You had it on the shelf. I've actually got one on the shelf right behind me. And then you sell it later. You make a profit, right? You're still actually making your profit. So you're getting all of the money back. You got to build the set. You got to enjoy it. You're getting all your money back and you're making a profit, right? You're making $76. That is actually a return on investment of 59%, right? 59% return on a used condition set here, right? That is amazing. That's better than the stock market over the course of those couple of years in retirement while still enjoying the Parisian restaurant, which by the way is an amazing build. Next up we have Detective's Office, which is another modular building. If you got this one for 20% off, you would have paid 128. This is also $160 retail price. Now the used condition price on this one right now is around $300. People are selling this on eBay today for $300. Now, if you sold it for 300 after buying it for 128, then that will be a profit of around $127. By the way, these profit numbers, they already have the selling fees calculated in, okay? So eBay are gonna charge you a fee to list on their platform and to sell. That's all calculated into the profit already. And actually, I'm being a little bit generous as well. I'm taking 15% selling fee, and the selling fees on eBay are actually more around 13%, so I'm kind of giving a little bit of wiggle room. These, these profit numbers may be a slightly, slightly higher. 
So the profit would be one hundred and twenty-seven dollars on Detective's Office if you paid one twenty-eight for it. You got it for twenty percent off. Now that profit of one hundred and twenty-seven dollars is a return on investment of ninety-nine percent if you manage to get this set for twenty percent off. So you're essentially doubling your money. You bought it for one twenty-eight. You built it. You enjoyed it, and then you're selling it for a hundred percent or for ninety-nine percent more than what you bought it for. Right? You just doubled your money. That's amazing stuff for Detective's Office. Next up, we have the up upside down lego stranger things as a 200 dollars msrp if you managed to get it for 20 percent off you would have paid 160 dollars today it's selling on ebay for around 300 dollars in used condition so that would be a profit of 95 dollars if you managed to get it for that 20 percent off price after your 45 dollars selling fees are calculated in and that would be a return on investment of 59 percent in use condition for Stranger Things. So you could have enjoyed the set. Again, you could have built it with your family, selling selling it for 59% return on investment. Next up, we have Speed Champions. This is the F8 Tributo Ferrari set. This is a $20 retail price. Um, if you got it for 20% off, you would have got it for $16. And that is not hard to do on Speed Champion sets. You definitely more than likely would have got it for 20% for, uh, off. Now, today, this used condition set is actually only selling for $18, so here we're not going to be making money, okay? We're going to be losing, but this $18 sale after you bought it for $16 because of the selling fees, the selling fees would have been around $2.70, so you're slightly under with this one. You would have lost $0.70 cents on this, but it's still a small price to pay to actually get to build this set, okay? You would have almost got all your money back for this set if you sold in used condition on ebay today so that would be an, a minus four percent return on investment so you lost four percent or 70 cents but again not a bad price to pay to actually get to build and enjoy the set and again this price is also still going up because the set just retired at the end of 2021 and so uh, soon these used prices are probably going to be profitable right you could have actually built this set and enjoyed it if again you got it at 20 percent off next up we have lego ideas and this is steamboat willy this is a 90 dollar msrp if you got it for 20 percent off you would have paid 72 dollars which again you should have been able to do in a lot of parts of the world we would have been able to get this for 20 percent off at least um in used condition right now on ebay it's selling for 85 dollars so that will be a profit of 25 cents okay so you're pretty much breaking even right just 25 cents profit it's a zero percent return on investment you are breaking even but again you got to enjoy the set so now you've you've literally been able to build add it to a collection display it on the shelf and then sell it and get all of your money back right recuperate all of your money so you got to enjoy it for free you're not making money you're not losing money now next up we have the ucs death star this is 75159 it's a 500 dollars set msrp if you got it for 20 percent off you would have paid 400 dollars now in used condition today it's selling for around 400 dollars on ebay so just because like that's not break even because of the selling fee right the selling fee on ebay is around 60 dollars so you're not getting all your money back for the ucs death star you're going to be losing around 60 dollars so your return on investment on this one would have been negative 15 percent right you're down 15 percent but again you got most of your money back right with the exception of 60 dollars next up we have winter holiday train this is again a creator expert uh winter village set it's an 80 dollar msrp on this one if you got it for 20 percent off you would have paid 64 dollars and uh, right now on eBay, the used condition set is selling for around $150. So that would be a profit of $63.50 if you bought it at that 20% off price and then you sold it today in used condition for $150. That would be a return on investment of 99%, right? Once again, you're doubling your money with the winter holiday train after a couple of years of having this in your collection and selling it in used condition on eBay. Next up, we have Stephanie's House. This is a Lego friend set and the retail price was $70 on this set and if you bought it for 20% off you would have paid $56 on this one right now on eBay it's selling for around $50 in used condition so that would be a loss of around $13.50 if you built the set enjoyed it and then sold it today for on eBay in used condition that would be a negative 24% return on investment so you lost a quarter of your money with uh, Stephanie's house if you sold it today in used condition after buying it for 20% off. Next up, we have Destiny's Bounty. This is Lego Ninjago, okay? And this is a $120 set in MSRP. If you were able to get it for 20% off, you would have paid $96. 
$108. And today on eBay, it sells in used condition for around $110, right? So that would be a profit of negative 250, right? So you lose $2.50 if you sold uh, Destiny's Bounty in used condition today. That's a minus 3% return on investment. So you're losing 3% of your money or you're losing $2.50. Again, you're almost getting all your money back here and having enjoyed the set. Next up, we have a Lego Star Wars set. This is Darth Vader's castle and it's a $130 retail price. If you got it for 20% off, you would have paid $104. Right now on eBay, it sells for around $150 in used condition so your profit then if you bought it for night for uh, 104 and you sold it for 150 your profit will be 23 dollars and 50 cents that would be a return on investment of 23 percent right so you're making 23 percent in just around eight months on darth vader castle having enjoyed the set built it and then sold it in used condition and still made 23 percent profit next up we have a first lego art set this is the beatles it's 120 dollars msrp and the used condition right now is selling for around 110 if you got it for 20 percent off you would have paid 96 so you paid 96 you're selling it for 110 and uh, that will be a loss of around two dollars and fifty cents or a negative return on investment of 3%, right? So negative 3%. So again, you're almost breaking even, right? $2.50 is all that you lost for the ability to build the Beatles art set, putting it on your wall for, you know, eight months and then selling it after it has been retired for a little while. Next up, we have another Lego Star Wars set. This is TIE Fighter Pilot Helmet. Uh, $60 MSRP. If you got it for 20% off, you would have paid $48 for it. Um, this right now on eBay is selling for $120, right? This is a scarce set. It has risen in value a lot. So $120 on eBay in used condition right now. That would be a profit of $54 in used condition, right? $54, which is a return on investment of 113% if you bought this for 20% off while it was still available in retail stores. 113% in a used condition after just eight months of retirement. This set has been incredible for Lego investors. Next up, we have a Lego Harry Potter set. This is the Quidditch Match. Quidditch Match was a $40 MSRP when it was available. And if you managed to get it for 20% off, you would have got it for $32. But today on eBay, in used condition, it sells for around $40. So that would be a profit of just $2 or a return on investment of 6%. So you got to enjoy this this set for about a year and a half. That's how long it's been retired. And then you sell it today, you get your money back. You make $2. And next up, we have a Jurassic World set. This is the Triceratops Rampage. This was a $60 MSRP. If you bought it for 20% off, then you got it for $48. And today it's selling for around $50 on eBay. So after you paid your selling fees, you'll be losing around $5.50 if you sold it today in used condition on eBay. That's a negative 11% return on investment. So you lost 11% or $5.50 on Triceratops Rampage. And then lastly here, we have the Zombie Cave. This is the Minecraft Zombie Cave. It's a $20 retail price. If you bought it for 20% off, you would have paid $16. And today it sells in used condition for around $15. So that's a negative $3.25 um, return if you were to sell it in used condition or minus 20% return on investment. So you lost 20% of your money on the zombie cave if you built it and sold it in used condition. Now, if we add all of this up, these 15 different sets, and we look at the overall, what would have happened here if you bought all of these 15 sets? Let's imagine, for example, you bought one of every one of these sets, right? You build a collection. This was your Lego collection with 15 of these different sets. And you bought them while they were still available in retail stores and you got them for 20% off. You built them, you enjoyed them, and now you sell them today on eBay. And these are actual eBay sales. You would have paid $1,464 for this Lego collection of 15 sets. Now you would have been, you would have actually made $353.30 in profit after you sold all 15 of them. Okay, so you sell your collection after enjoying it and you make $353. In total, that will be a return on investment of 24%. Okay, 24% return on investment. Again, this depends on you actually being able to buy the sets for 20% off. If you can't get them for 20% off and you pay full retail price for all of these sets, then the numbers are more gonna be around breaking even, right? You're not gonna make the $353 in profit. You're not gonna make 24% 
return investment, it's more going to be pretty much around flat, but you're still going to get your money back. That's something that we got to remember here is that you enjoy the sets, you got to build them and you did it for free because you put in a little bit of work to sell the stuff on eBay and you get all your money back, right? And this is the power of the fact that Lego goes up in value over time. Even in used condition, Lego sets go up in value over time. And that is why we can recuperate the money that we, with, that we spent on the sets even after we build them. We can even make a profit in some cases and return on investment. Now, as we saw with these examples, sometimes we're losing money, right? Some of these cases we're losing money. But the thing is, some of these sets only just recently retired. So if we waited a little bit longer on some of these, then maybe some of them won't be losing money at all and they might actually be uh, profitable or positive um, return on investment. But in general, when you average it all out, the ones that do really, really well in terms of the value growth, they make up for the ones that don't do so well. And you may find that you can still sell your entire Lego collection and get all of your money back or almost all your money back or potentially you could actually make a profit even after enjoying and building your sets. So this is how you can enjoy Lego. You can be a Lego collector, Lego builder, Lego fan completely free of charge, right? You wait until sets retire and they grow in value a little bit and then you sell them again, get your money back, buy new sets to enjoy and to build and continue and rinse and repeat to enjoy your hobby of Lego collecting. Now, the other important thing we need to remember here is that if you manage to get sets at an even better discount than what we talked about here, if you get your sets for 30% off or even more, then we're talking about making an even better return on investment, right? You're still enjoying your sets and you're still selling them at an even better return on investment. That gives you more money to put into more new sets that you can enjoy. So by buying your Lego sets at great prices, you can really make sure that you're definitely going to be able to get your money back at the very least or maybe even make money when you go to sell the sets later down the road. Now if you want to buy Lego at great prices one of the really great ways to do that is by using a service called Rakuten and Rakuten is actually a website where you can go to and you can navigate from Rakuten over to your regular retail stores like lego.com or Walmart or Target and when you buy your Lego Rakuten is going to give you a couple of percent as cash back they might give you five percent back just for going through their site first before you place your orders I use it all the time I actually just got a payout of over a thousand dollars for my Lego investing business because I use Rakuten before I buy all my Lego so if you're not signed up to Rakuten or a similar cash back service I definitely think you should check it out I've got a link in the description down below for anybody who wants to go ahead and check it out it is a referral link so if you sign up there, it will support the Breakbox channel. So thank you if you choose to do that. I definitely think it will benefit you as well to get those great prices on Lego sets. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I'm Shane from Breakbox.net and I will see you in the next one.